what's up with everybody thank you for tapping in with me again today and if you're new to the channel my name is cleveland so uh this is the video that i was waiting on we had a little we had a little detour just a minute ago but this is the one that i really wanted to do so i'm sitting in front of this 125 gallon aquarium and a bunch of you may know already we got some we got some nice fishing here that's kind of getting a little bigger we got three puffers in here two eels and two triggers and a lionfish all predators now the lionfish looks like he's ready to be moved i don't like the fact that he's kind of sitting over in the corner we got a little i think one of the triggers been biting at his little horns or whatever so they gave him a haircut i don't like that so that being the case it's time to move this lionfish and put it into the 225. I knew you would be excited about that. So before we actually move them, I do want to feed them. I got to feed this aquarium and I also want to feed the 225. So we got some shrimp. I'll feed them with y'all. I got some shrimp right here. These are nothing but frozen shrimp that you buy at your grocery store. So the thing I like about the shrimp, you could just grab it, break it into whatever size you need it to be. So we'll feed these guys first. And then we'll go ahead and uh, and then we'll go and feed the 225 and then we'll move the lionfish in. So let's do that. All right, so let's take a look at this 125 first. So we got the Stars and Stripes dog face puffer. This guy is going to get moved soon. Almost ready. We got the Scribble puffer right here. We have the Niger trigger. We have the very, very tiny Titan Trigger. We have the Snowflake Eel right there. And down below, we have the Black Edge. And then down below, we have the Black Edge Eel. We got the Stripe Puffer Fish. And then here's our Lionfish. Now y'all remember right there above his eyes, he had these long, they look like horns. These long horns that he no longer has. And I know they don't shed, I know they don't fall off. I think one of these triggers has been, been nipping at him. He's not looking stressed out, he's looking very hungry. But I think he's gonna do a lot better in that 225. We're gonna keep the triggers separate. The triggers are not making it to the tank with the stingray because we also want to put a shark in there. And I've learned from my mistakes, y'all. I'll tell you that right now. I've learned from my mistakes. <laughs> Having triggers around your sharks is a terrible idea. And I'm pretty sure it'd be the same thing with the stingray. I'm pretty sure the triggers will go for the eyes and it's just, ah, yeah. Don't do it. And a matter of fact, don't even have them around your eels. Triggers are, are terrible, honestly. I love triggers. As you can see, I got two. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to buy any more. And they're just, they're just something else, a whole other level. They're not like pufferfish, even though they both got, you know, well, well pufferfish has beaks. And the triggers have these teeth. Some has what looks like beaks, but they're just, they're terrible. In a good way and a bad way. So as long as you got some cool triggers, which this guy is not, this Titan trigger is not going to be a cool guy. He's going to be an absolute beast. The Niger trigger, on the other hand, is to me, is one of the most passive triggers to own. Kind of docile compared to all the other triggers that I've ever owned. But let's go ahead and feed these guys. We've done, we've done enough talking. Let's go ahead and get them fed. Let's move our lionfish over and uh, let's see how he looks in the new 225. Let's grab a piece of this shrimp. Drop it on in. Let's see who gets it first. The trigger and the puffer. A little bit for everybody. Let's go ahead and drop in another piece. Okay. Uh, lionfish want to grab some, so let's go ahead and uh, make sure that the lionfish get a big piece. There you go. Bam. There you go. Yep. Like what y'all gonna do? This is mine. <laughs> this is me. It's all good. I got 
some more little pieces right now for y'all. Bam. Come on, go get it. Go get it. Go get it, y'all. Go get it. Go get it. Uh-huh. Yep. Look at the black edge. All right. Let's see how this is going to work out. Drop that one in there. Uh-huh. He's not playing any games with it. Maybe I should drop one more in for the black edge. Let's drop one in right over here for the black edge. As soon as I drop it in over here, you want to leave from over there. That's crazy. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around, dude. Right there. Turn around. Come on. Right there. There you go. Come on. Turn around. Right there. Right there. Don't pass it up. Don't pass it up. Yeah, get that. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. You going? There you go. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah. Oh, I missed it. Y'all, we missed it. We missed it. Ah. Man. My bad, folks. You know I tried to get that. Yeah, they uh, they making quick work of these uh, pieces of shrimp. But like I said, you want to vary the diet. Shrimp, tilapia. Oh, not really tilapia too much. But shrimp. You can do tilapia, silver sides, octopus, squid. You know, the puffers love clams. All that good stuff. Look, you're getting full now, aren't you? Uh-huh. Yeah, you're getting full. Bet you are. All of the puffers are looking full right now. Trigger's looking full. We need to get you full right here. It's a little snowflake. Now you're just making a mess of it. Now you're just making a mess of it. Maybe he'll come to the forefront and grab another piece of this shrimp. If he's not going to grab it, I definitely have to pull that out. That's way too much leaving there. Come on, come to the front. Come grab some. Come on. Come to the front, dude. Let's go. This is a cool eel. That is a really cool eel, y'all. I can't wait to get him into the 225. Look at him. Such a beautiful eel. I'm going to grab me another eel from the store. I've seen this leopard eel. And um, they, they keep having it at Splash Aquarium. And the price tag on it is like, I think he's only like $50, $60. So I think I definitely want to grab me another eel. As you can see, I have a fascination for eels. I mean, I used to be in the snakes too. Maybe that's part of the reason why I love how they just swim around and get around the aquarium like this. And they are so hardy. And they don't come with all these different diseases. The snowflake eel is one of the most beautiful colored eels they have and uh, the price tag is very cheap on those like 40 bucks 39.99 can you believe that 39.99 are you out of your mind all right so let's go ahead and feed our stingray and feed the other two eels and then we're gonna move this guy i know we probably should have shouldn't have fed him but he was hungry gotta eat he'll be okay all right, let's get to the 225. All right, y'all, so here we go. You might notice that we got the light back up and running on this 225. That's amazing. That's going to make these videos look that much better. Pardon the reflection, but that's going to make these videos that much better. Let's go ahead and feed our little stingray first. And I appreciate the names. Y'all been dropping a lot of cool names. We still don't know what we're going to name her yet. So keep dropping them, and we'll pick one of those, or we'll come up with something that that y'all might like as well. All right, so come on. Nope, you don't like the tongs. All right, let's get that shrimp dropped in there. Let's 
Okay. Yep. Bart won it, son. That's a fact. I'm not surprised by that. Right there in front of you. Right there in front of you. Right there in front of you. Uh-huh. Yeah, get you some of that. Yeah, you took that, huh? Took that and ran with it. Took that and ran with it. Eating it up there, huh? That's different. That's different. Meanwhile, Bart just grabbed that other piece. Uh-huh. So you do like, so you do like shrimp. Got it down. Nope. Some of it. Look at that. She left some of it. Probably go back and finish it up, though. So she also likes shrimp. That's good. As far as I know, that's the first time she's eaten shrimp because at the pet store, they were only giving her silver sides. So I'm happy about that. All right, Tess, what about you? You uh, you, you left out or what? You going to finish up that piece of shrimp? You going to finish it up? No? I'm going to drop one more, one more piece in there. That's for Tess. Tess be playing, I'm telling you. Bart is a beast. That's why Bart is so big. Tess, on the other hand, Tess be acting bougie. I have to give him another name. Bougie. All right, so uh, are you interested in that one too? You just messed over the last one. Mm-hmm. Nope. It's all good. I know Bart's going to grab it. Looks like she's trying to fool with it, though. Look. Yeah. You're going to eat half of that, huh? Half is better than none. We'll take it. You're going to take that on a look? <laughs> look at that. So entertaining. Come on now. If you think this is entertaining, give this video a like right now. Look at that. Yeah, this is entertaining to me. Uh-huh, what you do with it? Where's it at? Where's it at? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you ate that whole thing. Uh-huh. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Look, it's gone, y'all. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. So one and a half. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Man. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy about that, y'all. <laughs> I'm happy about that for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and get this uh, get this lionfish over here. You didn't like that one? You didn't like that one? Huh? She over there staring at it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this lionfish in here. All right, so first things first, I'm going to grab some of this water, put it in my bucket. We're going to acclimate it to the other tank. All right, that's all the water I need. Hopefully this, will be, hopefully this will be a bit easier than what I think it might be. Lionfish or not slow fish, even though... Even though lionfish seems to just move around gracefully when they don't want to be caught... They're kind of they're maniacs. All 
All right. And you shouldn't really use a net to catch a lionfish. But that's what I have. All right, got him. That wasn't that bad. Ah, come on. There we go. There we go. Good. Thank you for not making it too hard on me. Trust me, you're going to enjoy your bigger home. All right, so the acclimation process is going to go a little something like pouring some water in this bucket every so often until the water doubles in volume. I'm not gonna do a drip acclimation. These are all my aquariums inside of the garage, one inside of this fish room. So it's totally different than it would have been if I, you know, freshly just bought this fish. So we're gonna just go ahead and pour. It was three of these not even filled up. Three of these, three of these containers not even filled up. It says 11.9 cups. So I probably only had about five cups, so about 15 cups. And then we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, and move this lionfish in. So this is very exciting for me. I haven't had a fish in here in a while and I haven't added any new fish in here since I've been here. And a matter of fact, the stingray was the first fish that got added into this since we moved into the house, year and a half. So it's gonna be nice to see some more fish like swimming around. I will move in here to puffer, eventually the Stars and Stripes puffer fish. I'm in no rush. If y'all remember Hollywood, Hollywood was massive. And Hollywood got massive in this 225. So I'm not trying to stunt its growth, but I'm not in a rush for him to grow to his fullest potential, not right away. He's the one just finding there plenty of room. He don't need no growth spurts. He don't need no growth spurts. Let him grow gradually. Let him, you know what I mean? So I'll be back with you as soon as it's time to add this fish into this 225. And she did eat that other piece of shrimp over there in the corner and bark did eat that other piece of shrimp that Tess didn't mess with. I really enjoy this ray, y'all. I have to tell you that. To be honest, I really do. She is such a joy to keep. Who would have thought? I know I didn't. But anyway, let me get back with you in about 10 to 15 minutes. Then it'd be time to add the line fish into this 225. All right, y'all, so it's been about 15 minutes. We got the water doubled in volume. Now it's time to get this line fish into its new home. We're gonna wait until, until our ray. I know, I know. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, come on now. Ooh, there we go. Ah, that's why you don't really wanna use Ah, that's why. There we go. It wasn't that bad. But that's typically the reason why you don't want to use nets with, uh, with lionfish because of their spines. Let's take a look at it. Man, look at you. Look at you. Swipe off that glass. Okay, yep. Moved right around them. That's good. That's what I wanted to see. I know the lionfish like, what's going on? All this tank room. It's definitely deserving. That salt water makes a lot of streaks. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Swim around a little bit. This is your new pad right here. Your new home, bud.
my ghetto lid. It's all right. Now I know the lionfish is going to be happy to be in this aquarium. So much bigger than that 125. Yep. Deserving. That's the word for it. Deserving. And you move your spines for the ray. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's called tank etiquette. Aquarium etiquette. You don't know what to do. I really want Tess and Bart to come over and meet them. I don't think it's going to be any issues, but I would like to show that on camera. Soon, once the once the lionfish gets really comfortable and acclimated, well, it's already acclimated, but once the lionfish gets comfortable, I'm pretty sure it's going to be over here in this rock work. I can almost guarantee it. Right now, he's just like, what's going on? Definitely not used to this. So before I uh, get this video out, I'll make sure that I got a, a video of the lionfish being a little bit more comfortable and not just sitting still in one spot. But I think this was much better. This was a good decision. Like I said, the triggers were being kind of like butt heads. So we had to fix that. Besides, there's plenty of room in this 225. Look at the ray. All right, y'all. So I'll be back with you in a little bit. We'll, once something happens, some more activity happens, I'll be back with you. Hopefully it's not too long because I definitely got to get some dinner going. I'm making some, some fried chicken tonight, y'all. Making some fried chicken. Tank looks good, though, right? Looks good with the light on there. I didn't realize how bad it looked without it. Now it's like night and day. Crazy. All right, y'all. I'll be back with you in a little bit. See you in a minute. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. You done met Tess. Swimming around, looking good. Now you just got to meet Bart. We know Tess not bothered with you, though, for sure. Like I said a minute ago, Tess is such a cool, docile eel. Bart is, on the other hand, is a real beast. Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth on Bart. I love this eel. I love both my, I love all my fish. But I really love these eels. I really do. But yeah, so I'm really glad that now our lionfish is swimming around, looking good, feeling good. Adjusted to its new home. Our stingray is still doing what she does. Watch out, be careful. There you go. Yeah, everybody's getting along. That's what I was concerned about. Uh-huh. And I really appreciate how whenever the eel goes over the lionfish, that it puts its uh, spines down. So he's not even trying to look at that. Not trying to harm the eel, not feeling threatened by the eel or anything. If he was feeling threatened, then he would really just push up the spines. Like how we did when I got in there and tried to grab him. But that's not what's going on. Comfortable, acclimated. Now he's cool over here by the rock work. Bart's right there. I know Bart senses that we have that lionfish in there. He's smart. 
test already met them. That's what I'm talking about. This was the best results I could have possibly have asked for. I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. And we got another fish in the 225. Like I said, well deserved. Definitely well deserved. The next one that probably come in here will be the Stars and Stripes Puffer Fish though. I'm not going to lie. I definitely feel like that that's going to be the next fish to go in here. Just because he's so much bigger than the other fish. But yeah. What you all think? If you haven't done so already, do me a favor. Hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And get ready to share this video with somebody else that you think that may enjoy it. All right, let's wrap this up. I mean, I can't even stop watching them. I hope uh, just replay it. I can't hold y'all long. I don't want to bore y'all. But yeah, let's end this so I can sit back and really just, just enjoy this aquarium. So excited. All right, y'all. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you're inspired by something. If you're new here, I said it. I said it once. I said it twice. I'm going to say it again. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel and then hitting that notification bell. Just let you know whenever I upload so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And uh, everybody, if y'all like the video, like the video. Also, share the video with somebody. Share it with a friend. Share it with a family member. Share it with everybody. Just share it. It really helps us. With that being said, we're going to end another one off on a good tip. I got to do something tomorrow for y'all. Tomorrow before work, I got to figure out something to do. I'm pretty sure this is a fish room, something to pop up. But anyway, I appreciate you all. Have a good one. I'll catch you later. Peace. All right, y'all. So we almost at 20K. We almost at 20K. I appreciate you all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Share the content. Help us get to that 20K. Also, Follow us over on TSC with me on TikTok and YouTube. That is our other channel, Behind the Scenes. You get to see all the Behind the Scenes content. Aida's in charge of that one. She's been doing a wonderful job getting ahead of me. So if you want to get ahead of me too, you got to follow over there. But again, I appreciate you all. Let's get to that 20K. Have a good one. Peace.